What's up, friends? Justin here from Sparrow. Look, let's talk about knowing your colors. Listen, a lot of brands online can increase conversion on their website just by getting the right story with colors. All right, colors uh, connect with conversion. All right, that's why driving down the road, most of the retail signs you see are red and black. Most of the restaurant signs are red, black, and white. Okay, the color influences. Why? Because red sticks out from green backgrounds of trees and grass, but you never thought of that. Now you know. Um, online, colors also impact conversion. If everything on your site is blue, then no one really knows where to connect or click. They don't direct, their eyes are not directed. So real quick tip, and then let's jump into the best way to pick colors. Look, on a color wheel, or just go to good old Google, whatever your main brand color is, if it's green, you need to have your call to action color, your main CTA for best conversion to be on the other side of the color wheel. So whatever your hue of green is, you want some you know, orange, red, or pink as a complementary brand alternative color. All right, so if you're more, if you're blue in your logos, you should have a you know, soft orange, yellow uh, type call to action color. Now what that means is that's, where you want to direct the eye at a point of conversion. When you get to the lower part of a, a page where you're offering three different services, you don't necessarily want to have those all your call to action color. But when you're at the top of the page and it says, hey, why don't you just request a free consult? Or why don't you see the most recent work we've done? And it's the main thing you want people to do. It should be the complementary color to your brand. How do you find that color? Well, let me show you one of the coolest tools online, coolers. C-O-O-L-O-R-S dot co. Go to coolers dot co, click the blue start the generator button right here, and let me give you some quick tips. All you have to do is hit the space bar and you'll start seeing these cool brand, you know, connected colors start flying by. Now, whatever your current brand is, let's just say, you know, you already know the color of your logo. You can actually click on this hex code right here and type in your logo brand color right here and it will adjust the color of this wheel. Now, maybe you don't know, maybe you wanna play around, you can click the picker button in and go around and say, ooh, I really like this as my core color for my logo. So this is great if you're handing information to a designer and you want to give them some direction, go here, pick your core color and check this out. Number one, once you get your core color, and once you manually enter it, lock it in, click the little lock button. Now you start hitting the space button, the space bar, it shows you other colors that go with that core color. Boom, I know your mind was just blown, it's amazing. Now, on a website, you want four colors at least in your brand palette. Now, obviously you have white, you have black, I'm not, you probably have light gray as a background, you know, you have that. So, check it out. To make it simpler, you can just click an X on one of these colors, and it'll knock it out. And now you're just playing with four colors in the sandbox. So here's the deal. Here's how you get the right colors on your website. You have your main brand color. You have a secondary color that you might see in your logo. Let's say you just love this and you lock it in. You've got hex codes. That's the web code for that color. And now you're trying to find a call to action color. So watch, I'm just gonna drag that little arrow, slide it over. The question is, is my you know burnt sienna salmon -y color here, the opposite of my teal blue. Sometimes you just got to go to the color wheel and say, boom, shaka laka, look at that. On the other side is this whole orange hue, you know, red, pink salmon. It's on the opposite side. It's a complementary color. So you say, boom, let's lock that in. Um, and now you can click the space bar to find another color that you want to play with on your website. Typically your headers, you know, maybe your headlines might be these darker brand colors. Um, maybe you want a separate darker color to jump in there. Um, so how do you get the right colors? You get your core brand colors, which would be your logo. Usually the first two colors here are log uh, logo colors. You typically have a secondary color that you might use for a button, but this is the standalone call to action button color that you're gonna see on the top of the website or get a free quote. That's how you pick the right colors. And here's the brilliant part, ready? So you take this and you copy this URL up top, that's all the hex code colors for this exact thing that you're gonna see. So right here, you have all your brand colors. You can send that to a designer. You can save that and update your website accordingly.
go rock out some sweet colors on your website and increase the conversion.